it's gonna fit but I need need a little help one of the wires is broke it's doubled wire but this wire right here is broke Hope it's not gonna come undone. I need to get it stuck back in that bead though. There we go. I don't know if I can get it on. I'm gonna go offline a minute. Okay, I can't get it on by myself. I have to have my husband help me get it on. Because that's the way it's going to look when I do get it on. That's very pretty. Love it. I love the blues in this. Very pretty stones. So pretty. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, I'm gonna shut off for now. I'm probably gonna that probably the last tape is gonna be really short. I could keep on going. I do have a lot here from. Uh, let's see, I got a couple of lots here. This is from Makeup Zombie back in May. This one too long ago. It looks like I want a jewelry bag and two necklaces. Yeah, there's two jewelry bags in here and two necklaces. I could uh, go ahead and show you this just to keep going and maybe get all this stuff opened up. So hold on a minute, I gotta clean up. Okay, so this is one from Makeup Zombie. Um, the first thing I have is this beautiful crystal necklace. It's got this kind of box slide in chain. Comes out like Well, I can't get it out right now, but there we go. Slides out like that. Slides out like that. You put it in like that. It goes in like this. Silver tone. Here's your crystal. And let me take this off. It's distracting. And it's got an Aurora Borealis wash. These are very beautiful. And then the other thing I won was this beautiful stone necklace. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it was called a blood jasper, if I'm not mistaken. And here's the earrings to match. Beautiful. I just love that. That is so gorgeous. And then I got two um, jewelry bags in this lot. Here's one. Here's 
on. Shovel of lace. Do this one first. Um, these are glass stones. It's missing a hook. That's easy, easily fixed though. And there's the glass beads. They're very pretty. And the purple and lavender colors. I think these bags are either $15 or $20. Then we have this necklace. Looks like it's joined together here. Like that. That's very pretty. I don't see any markings. These pearls are beautiful. And they're light pink. This earring, enamel earring. It is a post. There's no marks on it. We put the earrings aside to see if we get matches. This is a Christmas brooch. Joy, joy, joy. Here's the back. It's got the initials DD. Here's the front. It's got mixed metal, silver and gold. Here's a little band ring. It had something glued to it that's fallen off. Here's another little ring. I'm not sure. It's kind of big on me. I'm not sure what it is. What it's meant to be. No back. It's like a craft lot. This is pretty. It's a band. I can get it off. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I don't know, I'll have to look at that. It's kind of pretty though. Feels good. Here's a little elephant. Crystal elephant. Very cute. Here's a little cloisonne pendant. Here's the back. Here's a pretty little blue bracelet, my favorite color, with little heart charms, and oh, here's a dragonfly. I am collecting dragonflies for somebody special. Here's a little bracelet with snowflakes and different designs, hearts and swirls and the letter N, the letter I. That one looks like peppermint candy. Here's the back. It's got a fold over clasp. Oh, 
Oops. Does like that. It's cute. I like this one too. It's made. It's got a bicycle on this side. You can see the girl pedaling it. But on this side, it has in one for the Scrabble game. So it's a Scrabble game tile that's been painted and then acrylic over it with some glitter into the acrylic and it's on this beaded chain that's cute that is handmade I know this is pretty beaded bracelet feels a little sticky though it feels a little funky I'm sure these came out of jewelry jars from Goodwill and they probably haven't been cleaned. Sometimes those things feel a little funky. Little silver beaded bracelet. A little bit of Dawn and some warm water to clean all this up real nice. Ooh, look at this one. That's pretty. Very long. You could double that one up easy. And still get it over your head. It's pretty. Those feel very cold. So they could be glass. We could test it anyway to see if they're glass. And I have a question. I like to test it. I like the way it's done on. It's knotted between each one. Really nice. Well strung. Oh yeah, these are crystals. That's very pretty. Like that. That's a winner. Now this is strung on a uh, on metal string, and it's not magnetic, so this could be silver. I think we should test it. Let's test it. And I'm being bad, I'm not using my gloves. Wait, well, it's not scrubbing off at all. Let's do it this way. on it. I don't think it's scrubbing off like silver so it may not be silver. But we'll find out. Nope. It's not silver. I thought it might be but it's not. See how this cleans up. Okay. This is a little corded piece. And this feels like clay almost. And here's a little glass piece. I have lots of those. A lot of this will go in craft lots. Here is a little heart bracelet that says Faith on it. Little cross on that side. It's rather distressed. 
He's got a toggle clasp. It's a pretty ornate clasp. And then the beads are really pretty. They look like that um, sandstone or gold, gold stone. That's what I'm thinking, gold stone that's fasted. Wow, those are fantastic. Look at that. Let's see if y'all can see that. If I can get it to focus. See it? They feel cold. I'm gonna make sure they're not, that they register something on here. See what I'm doing? Going for the blue one. Oh yeah, there's there's either glass or there that gold stone, the blue kind. Wow, these little stones in between. Watch the little clear stones. See if I can get it to go again. They're going up to quartz, I believe. Yep, quartz. getting some of the, some of them are come on well, I'm not sure let's go to this one now that goes up to quartz so I believe these are clear quartz and that's that goldstone in the midnight blue color. That's very pretty. Definitely quartz. That is really pretty. Those beads are beautiful. Nice. See, the next one we have here is this one. Uh oh. What fell? I got it. It's got a toggle class and the gold. And these are very cold, too. I'm going to test them for glass or stone. I tell you, this tester is worth its weight in gold. It sure answers a lot of questions. Glass, yeah, they're glass beads. It's very pretty. Black and gold, weird classic. Okay. Here's another pendant. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if it tests out on anything. Might as well just leave this thing up here, huh? Okay. He 
it could be I know it's not tanzanite or aquamarine it could be nephrite that's the only other one I see it could be so this could be nephrite right here it's not uniform in color needs cleaning That's great. That means it's some kind of... Let's see if these are quartz and uh, amethyst. Let's do the clear stone first. Yeah, I would say so. Those are quartz. And then are these amethyst? Yes. So there you go. Semi precious stones. It's kind of tangled up, the wire is to get it untangled. Pretty necklace. Maybe the way it's hooked. Yeah, it always helps to unhook them. Here we go. So that would be a wired necklace you would either want to keep if you can get it to lay right on your neck and you'd have like floating gemstones around your neck or you could uh, put it in a craft lot and have somebody restring it, rewire it. I think it's pretty like that floating around your neck. I'm going to leave that one hanging up. Here's a cross, an emerald cross with rhinestone in the middle. Here's the back, a little pendant. This is pretty. It's a shark. Makes me think of the shark song. Might have to give that to one of the grandkids. I think that's cool, cool. I'm not sure what kind of material this is. If it's wood, and it's got metal in there. There's inlay in there of metals, which could be aluminum because it's so light. Then you have the bugle beads and the seed beads, and the barrel clasp. That's a nice necklace. For Daddy Shark. Little rubber bracelet. Needs cleaning. This looks like it's uh, clay. Looks like the evil eye. Somebody made with clay. This is very pretty. Very dainty. You have a lot, you got a spring ring clasp, and then you have these very pretty, very dainty, very magnetic. Here's a little bracelet with beads, the lobster claw clasp. Magnetic. Here's a shell necklace on a cord, a shell pendant on a cord. Now a lot of people will paint on these and do all kind of things with them. 
That would be good for a craft lot. Here's some little iridescent clear iridescent beads with some little silver stations. They're magnetic. Good layering piece. And here's another one. And here's the other earring. I have two of them. They're in good shape. I have two of these little roses, and they have little iridescent um, Aurora Borealis or rhinestones in the middle. They're lever backs. They look to be brass. Very pretty. Here's a closer look. Here's some little um, French wire earrings that are llama. Wow, that one's. Yeesh. Aren't those cute? Llama Mama. It's adorable. I like those. This is a yummy necklace that's all kind of tangled up. Let's see what else we have over here. This looks to be copper. It's even got some patina on it. It's got some initials on it. Something SU, HSU. Deerbuck, Titac. Tie clip. That's pretty. That's old. Here's little baguettes. Not baguettes. Uh, channel set stones. They're probably CZs. Ring meets cleaning. Let's just play. They should ring up as glass or nothing. I mean, it's not even budging. That's why there's so little sparkle here. Oops. Goodness. Yeah, nothing. Guess I put that in the craft lot. I'm not sure what you'd use it for. I think this is just. This is one end. You have this loop, and then all you have right here are these this long, 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 long little beads on the end. So I think they go through the little loop, maybe, to make the necklace so that you would wear the necklace like that. It's three-stranded, and there's your little loop. It's like a Lariat, Lariat necklace. That's very pretty. It's very smooth, very gold tone. I don't see any markings on it, but it feels luscious. It feels like butter. They're snake chains. And it does feel like butter. It's very pretty. Alrighty. That's that bag. I like the snuffles. I want to 
test that to see if it's gold, but not right now. So we have one more bag to open. And then I'm going to call it a night before my wakes my husband up and he's wondering where I am. Oof, that's a big bag. We have this rose necklace and these beads, and they feel uh, very acrylic. Lobster claw clasp with a finish. Acrylic or bakelite, maybe? Or lucite? I don't know. Here's a clamper bracelet in gold tone. And it's got a Monet right here in the back. I don't know if y'all could see that. Come on, focus. Focus. That's a Monet bracelet. It's in good shape. Here's a pretty bracelet. Comes apart like that. It's magnetic. Looks very nice. It's got a real rich look to it. Here's two of these bracelets, and I'd love to wear these when I go out jewelry hunting because um, you can uh, test jewelry to see if it's magnetic without being conspicuous about it. Here's a religious pendant, little tack band. I think it's the Ithaca, I'm not sure stone on there. Get it real close. Yeah, that doesn't appear. That appears to be a rhinestone. Here's another pretty bracelet. Just needs cleaning up and it's also Mark Monet. Very nice. Here's some little plastic stretchy bracelet. Acrylic. Here's uh, some twisted pearls intermingled with some um, silver tone metal. In gray and champagne in creamy color, very luscious. Here's some black stretchy bead. 